Fraser, welcome to DejaVuFM.com. Hey, thank you for having me. Thank you for joining us. Pleasure. Uh, how are you today, all right? Yeah, I'm all good, man. It's been running around all morning and that, but just doing promo for the single and that, and yeah, now I'm catching up with you guys. Okay. Um, exciting times. You're now a solo artist. Yeah, something <laughs> like that, yeah. <laughs> how do you feel? Is it something you've always wanted to do, always wanted to be? Um, it's not something I always wanted to do, I would say, but... It's given me um, the opportunity to branch out my talents in different directions and different areas. So yes, yeah, it's, it's been it's been a it's been a good run, man. It's been fun. Yeah. Have you got a lot of freedom with your label to kind of experiment with what sound do you want to do? Or yes, yeah, it it's great, man. I'm in a great position right now. It's like I do all the treatments for my own videos. I produce and write all my own records at the moment, and I'm I've pretty much got. <sighs> full creative control of my own stuff man which is great mm, that is so good. If, if i release something it's only because i wanted to release it okay that's good um the single refers to you being a killer yeah um i can only assume that means with the ladies yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're not one in real life all that. um who got more female attention in end ups is it you or daffy or what happened there i don't know i think it was a split decision for me and that's one <laughs> <laughs> yeah but yeah are yeah. you fighting them off at the minute is it hard yeah man i don't know man that light skin guy end ups <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> You love it. Go on, be honest. Uh, it's overwhelming, man. I don't know what to say, man. You're going to give me a big head like... <laughs> <laughs> I spoke to Trey Songs recently and it's like, it's a it's a job in itself, seriously. Yeah, it like, is. It is, serious. It's tough, man. <laughs> <laughs> I know, man. I can't believe I have to wake up every single day to live, <laughs> to do this job. Like, I get girls thrown at me. It's a lot. Like, I do shows. I've got loads of fans. It's like the hardest life I've <laughs> 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 What's been the craziest thing you've had like thrown at you on stage or sent to you? you no, know, I, I did a tour a couple of years back. It was um with a, a company called Clubland, and the thing is, when you do a tour like that, it's like the, the thing is, if you're doing a great show, everyone like if they like if they're enjoying it and they like it, they have to throw glow sticks. <laughs> so like we got bombarded with glow sticks. Like the whole stage was kicking them off the stage. It was like a prop on stage. It was like part of the stage show in the end. It was yeah. crazy. I think it looked good though actually. But um yeah, underwear. The girls like to do that as well. Mm. I don't know, it's a bit weird. Like, they're looking at you going, you, they're taking off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay. Have you had any, like, really disgusting pants thrown at you? Um, I've had a pair of disgusting pants thrown at me and then the leg and the leg go up on Aww. the back on the balcony like that. <laughs> and I can see everything. I'm like, oh, <laughs> shave or not for her. <laughs> <laughs> let's move on to the single yeah? Yeah, yeah, let's go. Uh, commercial urban pop is that fair to say um, yeah in a sense mm, don't want to categorise it, is, it. Uh, it it is yeah it is it's um I don't know it's like commercial pop but with a big F U in the middle if you know what I'm trying to say <laughs> it's, it's, it's great yeah, um, it's, I would say it's a little bit don't hate me a little bit Americanised in places do you agree disagree um in what sense? It's just, I don't know, there's one bit I was listening, I was like, oh, it sound, you sound a little bit American. I don't like, it was the way you said something. I don't know what it was. Uh, I haven't I know, intake of the lyrics I know, yet. I know exactly what it is. Won't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is it, yeah. Yeah, it's a vibe, man. It's a vibe. Like, like your voice is an instrument, like, and if you can use your voice, you can do anything with your voice, like, ah, ah, be da, or you can use your, your voice as an instrument. So, pronunciations, and I'm very British, like, you'll never hear me go on a track and say dance, I say dance. You won't hear me say tomatoes, I say tomatoes. You won't hear me say laundry detergent, I say washing up powder. Like, I'm very British, like, to my cause, to my heart. My raps, they're never, ever, ever Americanized, they're very British. And mm. yeah, if I do something, it's just using my voice as an instrument. Like, people ask me, why do you use auto tune on this track? And I'm just like, well, it's not to cover up a dodgy vocal, it's to show people how to use auto tune as an instrument and mm. not just to cover up a dodgy vocal when you can't sing. Like, it's, it's part of the effect and it's part of the sound. Would be like breaking America something you want to do? Yeah, most definitely, man. It, um, it's it's high on my agenda right now, and it's one of the main things that I'm focusing on. I'm making an album that is not very, I, I'll say, it's an international album. Mm. I'm I'm using sounds that not everyone would use. It's a bit more left field, and it opens the eyes of other people in other territories, which is and it's it's a must for me. Okay, cool. Um, what can we expect from the album? Is it going to be a lot of like bangers and there going to be a few slow jams? I, I, I see it like this. There's no point of doing um, 
an album track on your album these days, like because it's, like people want to listen to a CD from beginning to end and just have it from the intro to the outro and just go about their day, whether they're washing up or ironing or doing the cleaning in the house. They just want to listen to it. They don't want to be, oh, I don't like this song, skipping the track. So everything I'm doing right now is possibly to be a single. So mm. hopefully if I can get an album full of singles, I'm in a good place. And I really want to just do something different. I want to make a record for everyone on my album. Okay, you like that whole, that dance thing, that commercial dance, dun, 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 right, here's Killer. Okay, you like the whole sort of lo-fi sort of Drake, J. Cole sound, here's, here's, here's it's all right. Oh, you like um, real music, real instruments and real pianos, here's Fireflies. It's crazy. Like, I'm actually mm. doing something really different this year. So you're catering for everyone there, Everything. which is wicked. Um, you got any collaborations on there? At, at, the, at the moment... Um, yeah, they're, they're, I'm not gonna say the names because they're not 100 percent confirmed. But if we if we pull the collaborations off, it's it's gone. Oh, <laughs> Serious. Okay, we'll be looking at that one. Um, Talita recently tweeted a picture of her and Dappy in Ibiza. Yeah. Are things cool? And are we getting that reuniting? Is it gonna happen? Yeah, we're well, we're looking into it, man. Um, we're still doing our solo ventures right now, so that's the main focus at the minute. So you're all talking now. Yeah, yeah, we're all all good. Right, cool. Was it just a bit of PR for Twitter? Do you reckon that little argument between Talisa? Mm, no, it's just them being family. And just, right. like, come on, anyone who knows N Dubs knows Dappy, Talisa, <laughs> and Faze are gonna get into an argument here. It's nothing <laughs> new. Like, come yeah. on. All like, right. <laughs> um, obviously, you help with the production of uh, Talisa's Young. Yeah. Um, are you gonna be doing more production for other people? Yeah, I've um actually just currently opened up um production slash record company. Um. Yeah, we're just branching out, doing records for a lot of people. We had one in the studio yesterday. Um, okay. I don't want to name drop, but I've got a really big artist writing session next week. I'm not going to say who it is, but yeah, it's crazy. Tell it's us, right who now. is it? Come on. No, no, no. First I can't initial? Tell you. I can't tell you because right. you know what it is? It's like you can never you can never be sure what's going to happen in a session. Like You can go mm. in there, write one song, uh, it's all right and uh, write another song and it's a smash but you can never know what's going to happen in a session you can come out with something you can come out with nothing so yeah. I'm not going to jinx anything and say yeah I'm working with this person and we're going to make a smash because you never know Yeah, let's I'll go... put my heart and soul in it alright let's go right back where you were having your channel you days hey. where n really came about um, <laughs> <laughs> the UK music scene at the minute um, is like literally on fire. Is there any new upcoming acts so that like if they were in that position where you were kind of thing that you're feeling them or there's people that you think yeah I really want to work with them they're quite yeah new, yeah quite yeah, fresh. yeah um there's actually um two people that I'm actually looking to get on a freestyle um that I'm going to be doing in the next few weeks for that underground and everything like that is um a guy called Cash Tastic mm-hmm. and um uh, Squeaks. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm probably going to get them two to jump on it. I like them. I like what they're about. Yeah, big squeaker. It's big squeaker. Uh, and finally, uh, Deja, we're all about promoting new artists um, yeah. and urban acts, as you'd probably know. Um, what advice would you give to upcoming people and how would they get into your situation? Um, the best advice I can give is just be you. Don't try and be anything else than yourself. Keep writing. That's the best thing you can do. Is just write songs after songs. As many songs as you can write, just keep writing as much as possible because the more hands-on experience you get, the better you get it and the more the understanding you have of the whole industry and what people want to hear and how things sound on records, how to put your vocal on tracks to make it sit on a record properly without it sounding weird. Just keep writing. That's the best advice I can give you. All right, brilliant. It's been great speaking to you. Uh, my pleasure. Thank you for having Thank me. You. Deja. <laughs> Deja. 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 Deja.